Hi there, thanks for joining me for this uh, painting light over ocean. I've just been on holiday, the camping trip down to Jarvis Bay with some uh, uni mates and all their partners and children and it was a big bunch of us actually, a lot, a lot of fun. And I took a lot of photos while I was down there and this is one of them. And I'm just going to use that as a reference point to painting some light over the ocean but I'm using Somerset paper tonight. I don't use that a lot and to be honest I just finished recording uh, a video for my patrons painting on the other half of this sheet and I didn't love this paper but I'm going to use it again um, you know, I just needs using up um, and we'll just see how I go I'll try and not take quite as long doing this one as I did the last one last one I spent ages painting it so we'll just see if I can make this one a little bit more minimalist we'll go from there all right let's go all the colors be in the description and uh, i'm just wetting it using a twin cake brush here i wet this page but as i found last time this paper uh really buckles really quite badly um which i really dislike so i'll just use a little bit of um raw sienna just on the horizon here coming in through here and we'll get a bit of warmth in here too we'll get a little bit more for now just up in there maybe a little bit up there a little bit in there a bit on here a bit down here definitely a bit there and i'll get a little bit of I don't even know what it is, it's like cadmium yellow or something, just to get a little bit more brightness there, a bit more there maybe. Alright, cool. Now, uh, we'll see how we go not drying this, okay? We'll see how we go just bringing in colour. Let's go. Of course, I want to try and keep this is a rain cloud coming in here. There's some really clean, sort of crisp white bits in here. A bit more coming across here, we'll get a bit more. Strength of tone again in under here, really nice and strong. Strong, look where the strong deep tones are. And then what we might do is might just rinse that off a bit and then just come in. Making the tissue the kind of the shape that I want. Just looking at the photo and coming in here as well. Just going to come in with a bit of probably cerulean blue just up into here. And just wet that edge. And then I'll just tissue that edge to just get some nice interesting shapes. I 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the whole down here. I might later, but not right now. Definitely not right now. Right, now, let's just see how we go. Now the other thing is, of course if I come in and it's too wet, it's going to um, cauliflower up a bit. And so, what I'm going to do is just dry above the horizon with a tissue multiple times. And this is where the light is anyway, so it's probably quite good to just take a bit of that pigment out a bit. Always turning the tissue. I'm just lifting out some lights. Sable is pretty good at doing this because well it's damp anyway later on if it was completely dry then other brushes would be better So it's pretty dry now, so let's just come in freehand, hey, I think. I know that just below there is going to be. And that's the problem with the paper buckling. It's really difficult to just get really nice flat lines. So what are we going to have here? We I might just come back in later on and just, uh, this is going to come in along here. I'm just going to get a bit of get some of that turquoise later. Let's just spray a bit on here. No, 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 it's not. Let's just get a little bit of
I'm going to come back in at some stage and um, I'm going to come back in at some stage and get some light lights happening because This is the interesting paper that once you start to work it a bit hard, it starts going a bit funny. Right, let's dry this. Before I do that, I'm just going to add in a little bit of uh, there are some rocks here. Right. So we're going to start scratching out some lights. Uh, and interestingly, again, I'll bring the picture up on the screen, but. Interestingly, there's a big band of light coming down here and it almost seems to be almost underneath the rain cloud, which is interesting. It's just, I suppose it's not quite what you'd expect. And then there's some really nice light here and then some waves here and then some light around the rocks here. So, um, That's what's really cool about using photos because there's really no way that I would ever have um, been able to know off the top of my head how this was all going to, um, how to make this look like it does in, in nature. So. Um, I just have to fill that in a bit. And again, I could take this off, but I'm just not, not going, what I'll do, is I'll just get a pencil quickly. And I'll just draw a line there. Gives me a reference point. It doesn't need to be exactly because in the photo it's not completely flat. I'm just going to let that dry, but while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to come in below that point and where it is dry. Well, I should really wait because I don't want to pick up any of that wet paper. Yeah, I should probably, I'll just, I'll just dry this.
just it needs a little bit more. Oh, it's a bit too late now. Put it out. It's a bit too late to kind of tone this down a bit. It's going to be difficult to do that. difficult to try and join. At the moment it looks a bit like lots of different sort of separate colours a bit. Um, it just doesn't look very good. So I'm just going to try and but since I've scratched the whites out I can't really come back in at the moment with a uh, with a big hate brush and try and cover that whole area. So thanks for joining me tonight for painting uh, light over the ocean. I'm going to be doing a fair few of these because of all the photos that I took. Uh, it's going to take me a bit of time to get used to if I use this paper all the time but I think I'll just probably go back to Archers and Reeves, the two papers that I'm very familiar with. Um, and if you would like to uh, buy any original paintings from me then you can find it on scottswinson.com and if you'd like to join me on Patreon where there's more step-by-step -step tutorials or if you'd just like to support me for making these videos then I'd love to see you on Patreon. So thanks for joining me tonight and I'll see you in next week's video. Good night. In actual fact this needs a little bit more uh, I just need a little bit more of a few strokes there.